are two Star Wars nerds, and we are trying uh, a new recording method out. So you may hear a little bit of background noise, but we're going to do our best to keep that to a minimum. But what we really want to do today is we want to start a series on why we love the prequel trilogy. Yeah. It, this is one of our favorite parts of the Star Wars universe, mm -hmm. and we just want to share our love and affinity for these movies. Yeah. Yeah, and really, I'm sure most of you guys know this if you are watching a video on the love of the prequels, but um, The Phantom Menace came out in 1999, Attack of the Clones came out in 2002, and Revenge of the Sith came out in 2005. So those were some glorious years of my childhood. I remember yeah. looking forward to, like, once I left the theater, I'm like, I do not want to wait three years for the next one. And honestly, I, I mean, I'm a huge prequel lover, and Attack of the Clones is my number two over all of the movies. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I'm super excited to just share my love for the prequels and hopefully find other like-minded people in the community who love them just as much as I do or more. Yeah, and what's what's interesting as well is, I, the, you know, maybe you think this is young or maybe you think I'm old, but I was seven when The Phantom Menace came out. And for a seven-year-old to go see The Phantom Menace in theaters and to have the toys, mm -hmm. it was so special. Yes. My dad had me watching the original trilogy when I was like four or five years old, so I've been watching it my whole life. Yes. Yeah, and for me to have the experience of Star Wars at the beginning of really like my memory, you mm -hmm. know, it's really cool. But the older I get, the more I appreciate these movies. Mm. And I actually didn't really like Attack of the Clones much. <laughs> but when you and I got married, uh, I found out you loved it. Yep. And I was like, ah, that's the one I, I'm, I wasn't too big on. But the more I watch it, over and over, the more I'm like, this is a brilliant movie. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love it. Yeah, it, it truly is one of my favorites. One of my favorite parts of it is, you know, the, where all the lightsabers came come out on that battle. Like, yeah. I mean, it doesn't get much cooler than that. Um, but yeah, I just, all I mean, I love all the prequels. Um, and a huge part that I like is Anakin's story. Like, that you get to see who Darth Vader was before he was a man in a mask. Before yeah. he couldn't breathe on his own. And you get to see what led up to that. And you get to see that character development. And... I love seeing that and how they humanized Anakin and they made you almost feel for Darth Vader because when, you, when you're introduced to him in A New Hope, you're like, oh, wow, this is just a terrible person. But then when you go back and you see him as a little boy in The Phantom Menace, you're like, he's just a hurt, broken little boy uh, who didn't know how to deal with his feelings and didn't know how to deal with, with stuff and got pulled to the wrong side of things but luckily in Return of the Jedi you know there is that redemption too so I love seeing that full circle of Anakin's story and you're so right because you can't separate Star Wars from Anakin right you you just can't it's the Skywalker saga yep. and I think what people forget is he's that the chosen one he is and George Lucas has had a plan mm -hmm. for nine movies Granted, it was a loose plan back in the late 70s, early 80s. Right. But he still had a plan. But he started with 4, 5, and 6 because he didn't have the money or the technology to create what he saw for the prequels. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad he waited um, because so much of cinema changed when he made the prequels, just like with the original trilogy. Right. But what I love is following the story of Anakin Skywalker, you get to see Obi and Yoda mm -hmm. and Padme and Palpatine and Mace and Qui-Gon and Darth All these Maul. amazing characters. All of these incredible characters. And there's so many themes, too, that are so prominent. Like, he went heavy on mythology. Mm -hmm. and yeah, like themes like destiny, like you see from a yeah. young age, Anakin had a purpose, he had a destiny, you see good versus evil, um, just like I briefly talked about before with Anakin and Darth Vader, and then that redemption, you see forbidden romance with yeah. Anakin and Padme, and even a different type of love connection you know, um, with Anakin and his mom, that pulled him 
that messed him up too and helped pull him to that was part of his journey to the dark side and we see tragedy again look at Anakin's mom uh, look at what what's going on in the empire um, you see you know the political science the corruption you see torment of the soul you see war you know the clones are introduced it's just this crazy this crazy war this crazy time period and you get to see how this time affected all these characters yeah and you know we're, we're actually very different you know we're hoping that you get that all of you we're just going to call this a, a star wars nerds community but we hope that all of you nerds stick around because you'll realize my wife and i were very different yes my wife loves love <laughs> she loves happy endings she loves when good wins mm -hmm. I, I like and, I, and to laugh. Yeah, you do like to laugh. I do like to laugh. Me, on the other hand, I like the dark. I like the grit. Mm -hmm. I like when things are difficult. I like seeing a transition from a democracy to a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. I, I love contemplating deeply on real life through the lens of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's escapism. Yes, it's great fantasy and it's great sci-fi and it's an amazing space opera and a, 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 it's just a bounty for people who love deep lore mm -hmm. but at the end of the day it's it's a social commentary mm -hmm. on real life right and that's that's i mean this is just wetting the whistle of why we love the prequels there is so much we want to do and in this series, and I'll, I'll say a few things I personally am really excited for, and mm -hmm. then Keely will say a few things, and then really what we're going to do is we're going to leave it at that. This was just kind of an intro to what we want to do. Yeah. I personally am really excited to talk about the characters that were small but had a massive impact, to talk about the merchant. Um, even the, the technical aspects of filmmaking that was forever changed. We're going to talk about like planets and wars and cloning and all sorts of stuff that I'm excited for. Yeah, and really, I'm just excited to talk about them in general because I, th I think the prequels are underrated and underappreciated. Yeah. Um, but however, they are, I think people are starting to love them more and more as the years pass on. So I'm just excited to... Um, just dive deeper into them because as a kid I had I had the books I had the visual dictionaries I knew about all the ships I, you know I remember playing trivia with you and you were like blown away that I knew yeah. all these crazy facts and you know I don't remember them all my mind's a little hazy so I'm excited to um, relearn again and just fall more in love with them uh, from a different as an adult rather than just as a child but I'm also excited because it does remind me of my childhood they're yeah. nostalgic um, and and it's my they're my favorite movies. They always have been. Star Wars um, one through six are my favorite movies. Um, and I I love Anakin. I love his story. And so I'm just excited to look more into it and um, just see if there's more that we can learn and just share the love of the prequels that we have. Yeah, and you know I I truly am excited for this. And understand if you're watching this. We're doing this purely out of a love for Star Wars, and this is like a passion project where we just want to fall more in love with Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if that connects with something within you, um, yeah, consider subscribing because we just want to stay connected and just really surround ourselves with people who love Star Wars just like we do. Whether mm -hmm. you're a new fan or you're an old fan, whether you know more than us and you should have the YouTube channel <laughs> or whether, you know, you just want uh, to learn with to, us to learn with. Yeah. But anyways, we are excited to start this new series. Again, we are two Star Wars nerds and may the force be with you always. always.